Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another review and to yet another Way Back Wednesday. Today we're going to be taking a look at Taya Decatora. I'm really sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. And yeah, he was released in, I believe, 2012, then released again in 2016. This is Way Back Wednesday, the series where every Wednesday I take a look at a car from 2011 or 2012. And before I get started with the review, I want to bring up a few quick things. For those of you wondering what's going on with Cars Adventures, Season 21 will begin on either Saturday or Sunday, which would be either December 1st or December 2nd. I decided to take a break because it was Thanksgiving and everything, just take a little week off of Cars Adventures, and it'll be back before you know it. I also do want to bring up that if you didn't see my last video on 25 Days of Suggestions, please make sure to check it out and suggest two cars in the comments for a chance to be uh, randomly picked for a suggestion. That's all on the last video. Make sure to check that out and comment on uh, that video. And yeah, let's get started with the review of Taya here. Of course, he's a nice purplish pink color. He's got a really happy expression, which is pretty different from his expression in the movie. He really looks kind of annoyed in the movie or kind of determined. Tire Taki up there with some Japanese characters, which I'd assume would spell Tire Taki. Not, not quite sure. But I really like how this is made to look like it's on a spring, but it sadly isn't. He's grinning there, and you can see the two T's for Tire Taki on the front. And the two T's again, some Japanese characters. He's a TV truck, so he goes around with a big TV screen on the side. And here you can see Tire Taki and Francesco on Tire Taki with a soccer ball, or if you're in another country, a football ball with a purple car that kind of looks like Vic Vanley. Some Japanese characters there. And of course, you can see they spell out Francesco Bernoulli. He has these two plastic inserts up here. I'll talk about those more in a minute. You do have to apply them separately. And yeah, there are a bunch of little small details here. Wheels, of course, wheels and tires for Tire Taki. You can see a nice background with a bunch of wheels there. And on the back, you once again have the Tire Taki logo, but no visible license plate. If he did have one, I'd assume it would be there. And on the other side, you have the same picture. It would be kind of cool if the picture were lenticular, or maybe just lenticular on one side, so you could have a whole scene of Francesco kicking the ball like he does in the movie, but that's alright that that didn't happen. It may just look better with without that tire talky right in there, and the Japanese character is there. I just hope that the next time they release Taya, maybe they'll change up the picture on him. Have Francesco in a different pose, or maybe even show the Pizza Planet truck on Tire Talkie, which he was for a couple seconds. If you look closely at the Meldorado show in Cars 2, right before the Meldorado show starts, if you look up, you can see how the Pizza Planet truck is on a show that appears to be Tire Talkie. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.